Hello everybody, my name is Milo and welcome to my Red Stainless Zombie Pigment Farm tutorial. Now the first thing I'm going to say is this is not my design, I found it from somebody else. I've just added a couple things and felt like doing a tutorial on it. Okay, so first things first, here's a list of items you're going to need for the build. These two blocks here are just rough estimates so it doesn't really matter, just around about that should be good. And also, you don't have to use these blocks but just bear in mind that gas will spawn up here so try and use something that's not going to get destroyed if they do so. The first thing you're going to want to do is get above the nether, I'm not going to show you how, you can just google that and there's many ways you'll find. But once you're up here you're going to get some of your blocks and go from your y coordinate to 128 all the way up to 220. So now you're at y220, this is going to be the base height for the build. So I'd advise make a little platform or something just so you don't fall off but come out a few blocks this way and place some sort of torch or a different block just as a like way uh, point where you stand and the zombie pigments are running you just so you remember where it is then place one more block and then one two three more so four away from the torch bust these two blocks out let's place a trapdoor there and a trapdoor there this is where the zombie pigments are going to fall okay so now go four more blocks in this direction and then from here go 15 blocks either way left and right so that you end up with a 30 wide Thing across. Now we're going to turn this into a big square, 31 by 31. So if you just go out 30 blocks this direction, 30 blocks that direction, match it all up and then fill it all in like this. Now that your first spawning platform's filled in, what you're going to want to do is get a block that goes here, a half slab, and then another one here. Just so that no mobs can spawn on the side and it stops the pigment falling off. And then we're going to go all the way around. So now that the border is done, we can go ahead and start on the second layer. So if you want to go three more blocks up so that there's a too high gap for the pigment to spawn in, and do the exact same thing as you just did here, 31 by 31 square across. And there we are, there's the two spawning platforms done. Now we're just going to put a roof on this thing to stop the other mobs spawning on this top layer. So just go like this, one uh, like that. So that's a too high gap and cover this whole thing with half slabs so nothing spawns on top. Like so. And now that the roof's on we can bust out some of these blocks. So if you take these ones out here so it's a five way gap. And some of this platform out. This just makes it easier so that these zombie pigmen up here just can fall down a little easier. And then we're going to do the same with down here. Oh, leave those there, we need a 5 gap. And there we are. So those are the, all the spawning platforms done, that's everything you need to do with that. So now just one final thing to do before you have a work in the zombie pigment farm, we're just going to bring this out a little bit so that the pigment don't, or can actually get to the hole where they'll fall down. If you just do something like that, and then put a board around it so that they don't fall out. There we go. Now the very final thing to do is add the shoot downwards in the collection system below. Zombie pigmen only need to fall down 24 blocks to die, but I've gone down 26 at those nether brick slabs down there, just to be safe in case anything happens, it's just better to go a little over. Um, you don't have to use glass for this, but I've chosen to do so because it looks cooler as you can see them going down, but whatever block will be absolutely fine. So if you just go down all the way about 26 you can go 24 if you want to but 26 27 28 however many it doesn't really matter as long as it's above 24 or 24 or above and then you're just going to want to fill this in completely so that there's no way they can fall out and actually land on those slabs now that the shoot's done we can add the collection system at the bottom i'm using four double chests for this just because you do get quite a lot of golden swords so it does fill up fairly quickly but Four or five is a good amount to have, it doesn't really matter, you do however many you want to do. We'd have the hop going into the chest, then this one going into that one, hopper into the chest, hopper into the chest, hopper into the chest. And that's what you need really for the collection system. Now the very final thing I'm going to recommend is adding a little platform at the top here, just so that you don't fall off and no gas will shoot you, so make sure you fully close yourself in. Just something like this, so that you're fully safe, you can happily AFK here, get all the rotten flesh, gold swords, gold nuggets to your heart's content. So there we go guys, a completely redstone free zombie pigment farm all done. 
Um, what I will quickly say is how to use it. Just stand on your place marker, shoot them with a bell, snowball, anything just to anger them. They will fall down the trap door thinking it's a full block and they'll get pushed down anyway. Items get collected in these chests, obviously add a ladder like I haven't done, but um, and a little platform here just so you can access your chest, pretty up a little, whatever you want to do, but I'm not going to do a tour for that, you can figure that out yourself, but yeah, that's it now, thank you guys ever so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.